Hello, welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart and I'm an author of Young Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy. And today we're going to write. We're going to write like we mean it. We're going to write. We're going to write. Welcome to the Camp Nano edition of my live stream. Let me tell you, I have been failing at camp this year, but you know what? I've reframed it. And I have decided that I've adjusted my goal. So, A, I don't feel bad because feeling bad does not promote creativity. Number two, I uh, realize that I'm an over planner and I always plan too much for the amount of time that I have. And number three, I'm going to still get my project done. I have just extended the due date. And I've allowed myself some breathing room, which is something Sarah Cannon over on Heart Breathing suggests, is to kind of count in your days where you might be sick or you might not feel well or you might something have something come up, uh, which I don't typically do. And I, do, I mean, I, I pretty much schedule myself to write every day. <laughs> so, but, oh, we already have a first guest. Our first guest is lovely Petunia. And uh, she is my beautiful, sh usually shy, female cat. And then we also have Oliver, which will probably also be making an appearance because this is his feisty time. So what are you all drinking out there? Are you all caffeined up for this? Because I've had a problem with my caffeine the last few weeks. I went on vacation, as you all know, yay. I went up north in Michigan, which is like this part up here. And I saw the dark sky park, which was super exciting. I'll talk more about that after I share my drink. Books are my happy place. And then I'm drinking a citrus sunrise. And it's not a drink, I swear, it's a tea. It's a celestial seasoning. Um, non-caffeinated tea because I am having that issue with caffeine. I had pretty much got off of caffeine during um, the lockdown, but going back to work and having a deadline on cadet and then getting into this new project, um, that's, that's something else I learned is that I need breathing space between projects uh, because I tend to think, okay, my deadline to get that done was end of June and it ended up being more like mid June that I felt com or mid July that I felt comfortable sending it to the editor. And then I'm already two weeks behind on the Space Pirates book. So I kind of set myself up to be behind. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you that I'm getting a much healthier attitude about it. And I'm going to adjust my planning for the next big event. And I'm still going to get a decent amount done. My new goal is 1,500 words a day, which is doable even working full-time extra hours with emergencies. And it's about two, and a, two hours writing because I tend to... Well, hello. I have my guest here. Good morning and afternoon and evening. All of the above. What's on your list of drinks? It, I really should put some alcohol in here. But right now it's just Citrus Sunrise, which has got 100% of your recommended USDA. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a commercial for them. But honestly, it's delicious. And I'm trying to lower the amount of caffeine that I'm taking in. I shouldn't have to depend on stimulants to get my energy up. I gotta be high on life. So those are some of the lessons that I have learned from this Camp Nano. And I kind of learned that last time, but I need to embrace it, not to overschedule, to keep my project realistic for the amount of time that I will have and give myself room to mess up. <laughs> Yeah, some, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and our second special guest, 
is Oliver is doing this. Now, I have done everything I can to keep these kitties in line. I have given them food, their dinner early. I've given them catnip. I played laser pointer. Do you see that face? <laughs> I should put a banner up. Oliver sighting! But I'm actually feeling pretty good. I usually would be beating myself up right now, not getting anything accomplished or trying to push so hard, like doing 5,000 words a day or something incredible and then burning myself out. Well, hello, Miss Barb, and welcome to the live stream. I'm so happy to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is everyone working on today? I'm still, I'm, I'm, ju I'm jumping back into Space Pirates. And that... Uh, was another lesson I learned while I was on this vacation up looking at waterfalls in the dark sky park. It was amazing. Um, just spinning out in nature because all these lockdowns and stuff has made me feel very claustrophobic. And I'm usually not like that. I'm usually good with being, I'm an introvert. I love my books and my inside time and my, you know, all, all the things that included in staying home. But I didn't like to have to stay home. So being up north fell freeing and, and seeing the sights and that, like they, they have this thing, you know, pictured rocks, which is like these amazing um, sediments that the uh, um, glaciers left. Uh, it's just gorgeous. And then to go to a place where there is so little unnatural light that you can actually see the stars the way that they saw them a thousand years ago. It's just amazing. And we saw the Neowise um, comet right over like, it's like the lighthouse and there was these like bluffs and it was just gorgeous. It was just gorgeous. It was good. It was a much, much needed respite. respite. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Cassie, you're going to spoil. Yes, I do have a new prop, and, and whoever participates in the first sprint will get a special surprise, <laughs> and I'm going to have the best time ever with it. If no one else does, I'm going to enjoy it. So, um, one, like, let's say more catching up. Ooh. I finished Star Trek Discovery Season 2. I have a good review, but it's a little mixed. I enjoyed it. I would definitely watch more seasons if they come out with it, but it it had its issues, and um, I might do a video discussing that, as well as um, I finished Witcher, <laughs> which was just fun, because I love fantasy. But when I was out on vacation without internet, I started realizing that the story I was trying to tell with my short story as well wasn't the story I really wanted to tell. And I had two choices. Either I could power through and just keep writing along this path that I knew either I would have to rewrite or I'd have to be displeased with and it'd be good enough, which is the way of fast production and in the indie world. And I ascribe to putting out things that are, you know, maybe not edited for two years, but there's got to be a balance between doing what you love and what you're proud of and what you know there's already an uh, inherent problem with. When you're bored with a story, your readers are going to be bored with the story. So I got out, uh, I finished reading Take Off Your Pants by Libby Hawker. Take Off Your Plants by Libby Hawker. <laughs> Actually, there is a website I just found. And it was called, let's see, I think I still have it up here. Story Planners. And that's just, um, you put your stuff in it. And it actually has a snowflake method. It's got Libby Hawker's method. I haven't got, delved too deep into it yet. But you can put your stuff in there and it will like shoot out an outline. And the more I read this book and the more I worked with this website, which helped me organize my thoughts about the characters. And I hadn't uh, really figured out my main characters 
you know, flaw or any of that. So this really helped me get a handle on where I wanted to go with it. Now I'm excited to tell this story and it, it expanded from being a 20,000 word short story, which is going to be like a, it's going to be more like a 60,000 word um, novella. And I know some people consider that novel, but that's not, my novels are 100,000 words. So it's, it's, a, it's a little novel. So, I okay, guess, so you know what, you guys, you came for the live stream. I'm just so excited. I have like so many topics to talk about today and I have a list, <laughs> but let's get on to the surprise. And I still have, let's see, quite a few words to get done today. So I am itching to get into my words. If you are working on your projects, I want you to pull them out. I want you to pull up your screens. So what you working on today, Barb? What you working on, Cass? Anyone? Someone? Anyone? Again, I'm doing this base pirate rising. Yay. I'm gonna take a little drink of my tea because it's gonna give me inspiration. I am reading over where I was. Another thing I'm doing is kind of pre-writing, which it, I know to do this, but to pre-write where I want the scene to go, each scene, not just an overview of the plot, uh, just to give myself like a goal for each scene and maybe some of the beats. Uh, so it helps. And so I'm getting the idea of what I'm gonna write next. Ooh. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I really appreciate it. I uh, I uh, don't go to Pinterest as much as I do um, Instagram. I like Instagram. Yay! But going to write some scenes for my book too. Got to get that those books done. And okay, so everyone's got their their druthers they're doing. All right, we're already almost fifteen minutes in, and I am feeling feisty. I am ready to get to work. I have plotted and planned my little heart out, and now it's time to actually get some words in. This is a fifteen minute warm up, if that's good with everyone, because I like those fifty. I like to get. I like to get my feet wet again. I like to figure out what this is all about. Oh, look at that. I actually got it to work. I am excited. 15 minutes on the clock. And, oh, I'm gonna make sure I share that. I did. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Get some words.
Distracted. And that, my friends, is the end of the first sprint. And I'm going to tell you, I actually did pretty good for 15 minutes and a warm up. I got 127 and I'm not, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Anyone feeling the urge to share their productivity or word count or editing or podcast update that they did because any kind of productivity is encouraged and you will get the first surprise of the evening or actually it is the first surprise of the evening okay oh you killed me you killed me well done barb well done well done barb well done
And since you were the first, I'm just eager to share this. And you get, I did some research. Well, good points for you. Because we had some productive people, I'm going to give out the coveted or the soon to be coveted horn. I will wear this during the next live or during the next sprint because I feel like this is encouraging to people because I feel like you're magical. If you can get those kind of numbers and you can focus for 15 minutes, honestly, in this world of distraction, 15 minutes without doing a hundred other things it is a win. <laughs> so Barb, you get the unicorn horn of awesome. Way to go. I think, I think I like it. <laughs> no. And I'm just hoping nobody from my day job tunes in. <laughs> Okay, I found this when I was on vacation and I thought of you guys on the live stream and I'm like, what would be highly motivating? Watching an author get crazy for you because you deserve it. Anyone who is willing to commit themselves to actually doing the work is not about talking about writing, it's about writing. I tell myself that every day. That's why it's, it sounds like I mean it because I have to. I have to convince myself on a daily basis that it's not just about the social media. It's not just about coming up with the big idea. It's about actually doing the work and not planning to do the work and not thinking about the work and not saying, I'm going to do it right after this. And actually, that's a good segue. Thank you, Miss Anna. Thank you, Miss Anna. I thought it I thought it was very fitting for our live stream and for the level of sophistication that we have reached at this point. So that brings me to my next topic of trying to manage my time better. So instead of like beating myself up for being behind on this nano goal and getting new words. I have recognized that there were reasons why I didn't do it because I had overscheduled myself. I have accounted for that. And then I'm working on now doing some alternate things. I have reset my goal to August 31st. I'm going to do a longer book, which is probably, if you've ever read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and I believe, oh, who wrote that book? It's a classic. I might have to go look it up real quick. But um, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he does a grid. Stephen Covey. Yeah, he's also the one who did the Franklin Planner. And that's like the planner I I, I uh, cut my teeth on. And I still think it's probably one of the best systems out there. It's very similar. And everyone like does a washi tape. And I think it's all fun. And I enjoy it. And I love bullet journaling, journaling a lot. But just getting everything out doesn't mean you're getting the most important things out. And in the grid, there's this part where it's not urgent, but it's important for your future. And that's where I need to live. Covey, that's correct. Yeah, it's Stephen Covey. Uh, yeah, I need to get me a Franklin planner again or something because I am scattered. I have planner, like three different kinds of planners, and I have a automated like I have my phone and then I have my bullet journal and then I have some happy planner and I think that they have their purposes but I need to get the master planner I need to get the master plan the one planner to them all or at least something that is flexible enough to allow me add and subtract pages and do notes for books and do marketing ideas and not just and not lose them because I, I went back through my computer and good god I found notes and word counts and and methods of doing marketing that don't even work anymore because I forgot that I even had them. Notes from classes I took, like I just need a better. And I would say that I'm fairly organized. I do find the things I need, but it shouldn't be a trial to find those things. So another thing that I'm going to start doing, I think, is, is managing my time better. 
And I know I, I, this is something else I realized on vacation is that being without social media is probably the time I'm most creative. So that's number one. Number two is that I'm actually fairly creative in the morning, which I didn't think I was at all. I thought I was just a haze of nothing person without caffeine. But I realized that that's my creative time, but it also takes me a long time to ramp up to actually do anything. So trying to write in the morning has been difficult because I get up at six and leave for work at 730. And that's basically the amount of time it takes me to ramp up, to do my meditation, to do a little yoga. And if I don't do those things, then I feel ugh the rest of the day and I don't even finish my word count. So the goal is for this next, I'm just going to say it's not the quarter because I'm in the middle of the quarter, but from August or from as soon as possible on, I'm going to try to go to bed earlier get up a little earlier to give myself more ramp up time so that I can do morning sprints and I will feel better because I get better sleep if I go to bed earlier. And hopefully I'll actually get some productivity done before I even go to my day job, which sucks out everything. No, it's a, it's a, it's a good, it pays the bills and it pays for my covers. So I'm not going to complain yet. <laughs> so, I'm so happy everyone did good on that last sprint. Yay, go team. The unicorn was success. I am so excited that the unicorn is going to be part of our thing. And we're all work, work count warriors now. And I mean, the story is expanding and I'm ready for my next sprint if you guys are. Do you guys have any uh, ways of organizing yourself that kind of consolidate everything? So I feel like we have so many options now like to-do list and timers and and every program on your computer at home and work it's just I feel like I'm getting information overload from every source and it's I, I can't find the things that I actually want to focus on there's another book called the one thing and I don't remember who wrote that either I should before I reference the book I should look it up it's by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan, but in essence, you can boil it down to your mind can't hold that many things. You think you can, you think you'd be a multitasker, you think you can finish all these things. You're lucky if you get three things done. And well, let's say, yeah, and then the least you can do is one. If you focus on the one thing first, Get that done, and then you can like trickle down to your other things, but make your most important thing first and get it out of the way and put all your energy towards doing that. Because it's so easy to feel productive when you're just doing the dishes, which it is a productive thing. Or you take the recycling in, which is what I did this morning. <laughs> but then by the time you get back from going grocery shopping and recycling and stocking the shelves and making lunch and all these different things, how much energy do you have to be creative? Now, oh, we have a petunia sighting. Oh yes, Miss Fluffy Creature is behind me, isn't she? She's, a, she's quiet, she's quiet. She likes to sneak up on you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. And I think I might have to do some kind of, maybe just two systems because I need to think, as long as I'm working full time, I'm going to have to have something I can access at work and I'm going to have to have my daily thing that I carry with me because I have so much going on in my head and things I think about and grocery lists and all those things. So there has to be one system to rule them all and I will find it and I, I will create it. I will be a Franken, Franken planner of some sort. All right. If you come up with any ideas, during this next live sprint, feel free to add them in the comments. If you're watching this later, hello and welcome. My name is Pamela Stewart, and I'm an author of young adult science fiction and fantasy. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying these live streams and I'm not chatting too much for you. Uh, I think 25 is a good, is a good uh, number. If anyone's up for 25, I'm feeling feisty. If anyone is down to clown. And if you are watching later too, feel free to add your word counts. I will wear the unicorn of success for you. 
although you would not be able to view it unless you heard the live stream. The Unicorn Horn of Success. All right, think about what your next portion will be. What our next sprint will be. We have 25 minutes to, to kick some words out. Let's make it an all time high. I'm usually 25 minutes. I can do probably 450, 500. I am going into a new scene. So, and this is a new story with some new characters. So it might, it, it might take a little bit more warming up for me to get there, but here we go. 25 on the clock. Everyone, think about what you want to write next. Get excited. Oh, I got a little too excited. Sorry. Sorry. Focus. Focus all that energy, all that creativity. We can do this. I am counting on each and every one of you to pull out your best word counts because we want to be able to brag about this live stream. We want to post some epic numbers. This is how we get the work done. So let's do it. On your mark, get set, right? Ah.
and that, my friends, is time. How did you do? And welcome to the newcomers. Welcome, welcome. Yes, Oliver made a special appearance because he loves that. Welcome to our friend Kimberly. Share in the comments what you're writing and what you're, if you did jump in that last sprint, what your word count was, because we do have a special surprise for anyone who is participating and showing their words. Okay, I gotta do my words and see how many I got, because doing, I'm doing this all in one doc and it's difficult. And so it looks like I got 250. Not bad. <laughs> Dinner. Dinner! Oh my God, Barb. Killing it. Killing it, Barb. Killing it. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to bring it out since Barb did so well. I think you might have to be rewarded. <laughs> Spirit fingers. She has hands and let's see. Ah, the unicorn horn of success has been given to the magic and sparkles <laughs> for your amazing number. And that is really good. I honestly, when I, uh, oh, yeah, and paranormal, that's fantastic. I love paranormal romance. I love paranormal you uh, uh, urban fantasy. It used to be my genre back before I became a sci-fi writer. I still love it. I still read it. The Unicorn Horn of Success for you both. Huzzah. Glad tidings. And you, you guys make me want to strive to do better and to focus more. It was my kitty. I blame my kitty. Because Ali, even though I have dosed him with much catnip, laser pointers, and a toy mouse, he's decided that I. Bye, Barb. Come back when you're done. I think uh, we're going to do at least one more, one more sprint here, maybe two, because I'm feeling it tonight. I mean, I'm, I can probably go to almost six if you guys are... Are digging it? Are you getting some words in? And make sure we, we show your wonderful numbers. The unicorn horn has been shown. We have to show Barb's number. I'm sorry if I've already shown these because uh, I have the memory of a gnat sometimes. So bear with me. Okay, so we've been talking about being organized as a writer and, and finding the ultimate system to rule them all. It's like the one ring. Um, being on I now a unicorn, maybe I'll understand how that people can organize it all and not get overwhelmed. I think that if you're trying to do everything, you are going to get overwhelmed. And that's and I'm very ambitious and I really want to do so many things. I just get excited. And I think Sarah Cannon talks about this a lot, about being multi-passionate. And as a writer, I think all of us can. Woo! Rock on, Kim. You know what? You're my kind of people. Because now I'm going to get my freaking words in just because of you. I'm really excited that you joined our live stream. Rock on with your bad self. And if I haven't given you the spirit, the, the, I've given you the fingers, the spirit fingers. So my drink of choice tonight was citrus uh, orange tea, which is without caffeine, but I'm feeling the need. Strides to better. <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt. I need to have it with a unicorn horn over it. Um, so I, I might have to segue into some terrible for you food. I'm usually very healthy. This is not typical Pam, but it's happening. 
got to pull out the big guns because we're, we're ready. We're ready for another sprint. And this is the scent of the evening. Maybe this is why I'm so like chilling. This is a lavender vanilla spray. Do you guys like to like either have a candle or like a room spray? I do enjoy having like certain scents. I think it keys into my writing and then I start associating it with the characters and I uh, like warm characters. I like do cinnamon and um, I don't know. I, I associate colors and scents and, and different things to my characters all the time, just to kind of give me a vibe for them, a color, you know, colors, scents, words, music, uh, lighting, even like if it's, um, our sprints are usually 25. Uh, they could go a little longer, but I think since we're already at 510, I'm probably going to do two, 20, two more 25s with about a five or 10 minute uh, breather in between. I like uh, the Pomodoros are honestly what works for me. I do a uh, forest app and I do a lot of the, the 25 minuteers candles. That's good. Fantastic. Woo. Maybe you can cast a circle. for us. <laughs> I don't, that sounds awesome. Candles have to be very motivating for you then. There's all sorts of energy and magic in that. So Pomodoro's work for me. I'm actually using Study Bunny because I'm trying to do some good tra time tracking because if it's not measured, it's not managed. I think Tony Robbins said that. Or he copied that off somebody else, but I'm going to ascribe it to him. But if you don't measure your time and see where it's actually going, then you can't control it. So I do study bunny and I count uh, all the time my outline, plot, and and do uh, my writing. And it's kind of cute because you have a little bunny on there and he gives you stuff. And it's kind of cute. <gasps> yes! I'm, I'm definitely going to check that out. All right, 25 is perfect. Yeah, I agree. I think anything beyond 25, I start getting... Unless I'm really deep into like 50,000, 60,000 words into something and I'm really on a roll, then I can just keep going 45s and then do a 15 minute break and then do 45 and 15 minute break. But that's only when I'm pushing. I'll, I'm going to go check out that on, on your Insta when we're off of this. That sounds awesome. Oh, and if anyone's interested in by behind the scenes or anything, feel free to follow me on Instagram. The link is not in my description because I forgot, but in most of my videos, I put the link and I will, after the live stream, I will put my links back up there, but I, I'm on Instagram quite often showing pictures of my life and my evil cat and, and my words and motivation. So, all right, enough chit chat by Pamela Stewart. It's time to hit it. In the words of Captain Pike from Star Trek Discovery, we need to get it started. We need to get it started today. All right. Think about what you want to write. Do a quick outline in your head of the next section, even if it takes you the first two minutes of the sprint, because that'll help you get into the world. Hello, Petunia. You going to join us? No? Cat number two, they think I'm talking to them. And I am, but now's might be not the best time to, to chat. All right, we're gonna do it. I want you to get excited about this next sprint. I want you to feel the energy. I want you to caffeine up or whatever you need to do, light that candle, get your laser pointers out so your cats will leave you alone. Lock your children in a room or a basement. Don't do that. Hashtag disclaimer. Don't actually do that. And remember, even if you're watching this later, I am checking the comments. I am knowing if you're doing your word sprints. So be prepared. I'm bringing the pain. And the unicorn horn. All right, chit chat. I, I like to hear myself talk, obviously. All right. 25 on the clock. And your mark. Get set. Sprint.
Hassle's down. How'd you do? I'm excited to see your progress. So I check mine. It wasn't epic, but I have to say 306 is not a bad number when you have a cat who is unruly. He uh, decided it was time to play with a laser pointer, and there's only so much I could do with um, little Mr. Attitude, Catitude. Share your numbers and win the unicorn of achievement. I sing things. I should have been in a musical. I think life should be more like a Disney musical and we should just sing about things because <laughs> that would make things a little bit less stressful and maybe a little happier. Hamilton is also good. Share your numbers. Share your numbers. I'm going to share my numbers. Let's see there, guys. Woo! I guess I get the unicorn horn, if no one else does. Success, the unicorn horn of success. Checking in. Did you get any writing done this time? If not, that's fine. Just stick around for the next sprint. If you're coming in later, potential to win the unicorn horn of success. You too can be like me. If you want to, if you work hard enough, you could be strange and unusual. Isn't that what Winona Ryder said in Beetlejuice? One of my, I, I actually love that movie. It's such a weird movie. <gasps> Kim! Kim! I'm so excited for you. I'm setting off fireworks and uh, jazz hands and the unicorn. I think you get the triumvirate. You get the fingers, the good fingers, and you get the, the wave of success and also the unicorn horn. So you are fantastic. You should be proud of yourself. I am trying to... <laughs> oh! I, I've never tried that, but I'm sure my daughter would sympathize because I do I do make everything into a song. I even have songs for my cats that uh, actually are quite, uh, I've been told they're quite catchy. No, there's Beetlejuice the musical. How come I did not know this existed? I'm going to look into this because... I already, I already sing the Beetlejuice like Deo song all the time. So I am excited. Now I have something exciting to do. I mean, while I'm actually working, doing more things tonight, I'm totally going to put this on in the background or I'm sure I could find something on YouTube. Yay. Oh, this is, it's so exciting. I can't even, I'm sorry. I get I haven't had a live stream in a couple weeks, okay? I get excited by these. I love the feedback. I can feel the energy coming from you guys, and hopefully I'm sending some of that energy back to you. So 306 for me. 700 fantastic words for Miss Kimberly. And being that we have one more sprint to do, I'm almost ready. Got to breathe. Got to think. Got to work. Got to work. Got to get the job done. What's uh, What books are you guys reading? Do you guys like self-development books? Or are you reading fiction? Because I I petered out on my fiction. There was a couple of DN, DNFs that I did not enjoy. Uh, one of the one, one was the Hunger Games book, which was just too, a little too dark in this environment. And I, I guess I tried a couple of different uh Indie books that I didn't enjoy, which I usually do enjoy them. And then I now have downloaded Witcher book one, but it might not be like the TV series as much as I had hoped. But we'll see. I'm going to give it a chance. Um, my, 
I do like self-development books too. So I'm trying out the checklist manifesto. I have it on order from overdrive. The good thing about overdrive right now, if you don't know, it's a service that most library local libraries provide for free. You can get audiobooks and ebooks and I love it, but sometimes you have to wait weeks. Ooh, how is Thirsty? Because I, I see that everywhere. Don't say failing. You might be falling behind, but that's not failing. You're trying, and that means that you're a success. Trying means success. The reading rush. I need to get into that. That sounds cool. Maybe it'll motivate me to actually finish my books. I, I mean, that sounds interesting because I've seen the covers everywhere. It looks like ancient ancient Greek uh, or perhaps Roman. Circe. Is it she the, uh, was in the Odyssey, right? I like Song of Achilles more. Oh, okay. Song, maybe I, should, I should put this up so everyone, so people don't know. I think I'm just muttering to myself. I'll have to look into that one. That one sounds good. I love historical novels. I tried to be, I tried to write some of that, but uh, it would require more detailed. I would not feel safe writing <laughs> historical uh, because I would get it wrong and I would sh be shamed. Like writing far future is okay because I can extrapolate from where we are. My only fear is I'm going to defy the law of gravity or something someday, and then someone's going to call me out. This is my Camp Nano shirt. They say I'm I'm still a part, even though I'm not going to succeed at my original goal. I still feel like I am participating and am fighting for it to the end. We're gonna fight to the end, guys. I'm gonna look into that one too. And then now, so I got two good suggestions. Thank you, Kim. MVP, Kim. Okay, before I interrupt people's dinner, I am going to do one more sprint. And to let you guys know, since this is the end of NaNo and I missed last week, I'm going to, I'm putting this down for sure. I was supposed to do one when I got back from my trip, but I literally was wiped out this last week from driving hours and staying up late. But Wednesday will be my probably last NaNo stream. But then I will be doing, still continuing to do my Saturday strings, but I'm doing an afternoon Wednesday, probably, I'd have to say, 6 o'clock. I haven't scheduled it yet, but that sounds good because that gives me enough time to get home and eat and get my brain in order. Get some light caffeine, such as maybe a green tea, because if I go too hard that late, it's not going to work. But I'm definitely going to be back for that. So if... You're free on either Wednesday or uh, of this week for the last nano stream. Feel free to join in. And if you're still working on your projects, guess what? So am I. I'm working to the end of August on my new book. So I'm going to be doing them through August on Saturdays for sure. And then rando times throughout the month. So if you like this, you can like and subscribe. It would really help me out. Uh, and also it would let you know whenever I have something scheduled. So when I do the rando ones or when I do a review on a new like a nerdy book or TV show or whatever, that would also pop up on your YouTube. All right. Well, thank you for the suggestions, guys. And and the the opera singer, because that's something, man. I can't even imagine. Did you actually live with an opera singer, Anna? <laughs> Please share in the comments because I would love to uh, hear that story. Or you can include it in your next short story because that would be great. All right, I'm going to do my last 25 minutes. This is your last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Sprint. We're going to hit it. We're going to quit it. And I might even hit, if I hit 200 more words, I met my word count goal for the day and I can tap out. And all I have to do is, if I feel like it, I can work on my newsletter and, and actually maybe look up the Beetlejuice musical and do something fun. So I am highly motivated. I want you to be highly motivated. Get in your head what your next scene is going to be like. As Rachel Aaron says in 2K to 10K, get excited about that next. This is one of my favorite writing books. 
but get excited about that next section. So the two, like, and yeah, they say, she also says right at the best time of day, but this is certainly not the best time of day, but it is the best time because you're with me. Okay, there we go. All right. Pencils up. Keyboard's hot. 25 on the clock. We're going to kill some word counts. We're going to make it happen. On your mark. Get set. Sprint.
go, 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 go. Four, three, two. And that is seen. How'd y'all do? I'm very, very proud because I got 492. That's very high for my uh, 25 minuter. I had very little catrophorence this time, so I am hanging loose, feeling good. We're in the unicorn of triumph. Would you please share your totals? Y'all, did you kill it? Did you slay those word count goals? Because I have more than hit my goal count for the day. I came into this thing with only 600 words and it took me hours. In less than two hours, I totally killed the goal and now I'm a little bit ahead. I have a little bit of buffer. Yay. Well, I'm sure y'all did swell. Please share your numbers if you're still around to share so. Um, I can get excited for you as well. And my unicorn horn of excitement will be for you. I can stop my ticker here. Well, I'm proud of you all. Thank you all for coming. If you like these live streams, I'll leave it on. If you like these live streams, feel free to uh, like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Follow me on other social media. The links will be there soon after the live stream is over. I love you all. Thank you so much for participating. I hope this was a productive time for you. It certainly was for me. I'm excited to see you again on Wednesday and next Saturday. So until then, right on right now. Have a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon, Miss Anna. Thank you. Thank you for the unicorn horn of success.